if you've watched the checkout before. Boring! I'm out of this place. You already know a bit about the Australian consumer law, so you know that it's your choice, not the stores, whether you get a refund or a replacement. <laughs> if something like that happens. But consumer rights aren't just about faulty goods. The consumer law also covers services. All clean, mate. Joe's cleaning, best of the business. I'm off, see you later, bye. When you pay someone for doing a job. Hey, hey, come back. <sighs> so, if a consumer gets dodgy services, what are my, I mean, your rights? <laughs> to start with, service providers must use due skill. Ah. They've also got to take due care. Well, it was fixed. I gotta go. Services must also be fit for purpose. <laughs> that is, they should do what they're meant to do. Well, that's me doing goodbye. And that includes any purpose or result that you've specified to the service provider. And I'd like my new doorbell to ring at less than 200 decibels, please. You've got it. <laughs> There are lots of ways you can specify what you want. The more clearly you tell them, the better protected you should be. And the best thing is to do it in a way that you can prove. Attention neighbours, you are here by witnesses that I want my lawn mowed to 2.35 centimetres in length exactly. Thank you very much for your attention. Good morning. A specified purpose doesn't have to be in writing. In fact, you can convey what you want without even saying a thing. It's a cat, right? It's a, it's a little tiny cat. See, so look, that's fine. There she goes. Good kitty. Damn it! Oh, I didn't time travel. The flux capacitor's not working. Yeah, if it's unreasonable to rely on the service provider's skill or judgment, we're off the hook. Time travel, not possible. Yeah? Yeah. Speaking of time, if a contract fixes a time for performing a service, then under the consumer law, that time frame is guaranteed. 30 minutes and 6 seconds, that is free. But my flux capacitor broke! What? You forgot a couple of things. You forgot to say that if there's no time frame specified, then the service has to be carried out within a reasonable time. And you also forgot your garlic bread. Oh, thank you. OK, then. Thank you. Now I feel bad about spitting in the garlic bread. It's worth remembering this stuff because while most businesses give good service, others... ..will try to take advantage of you in the bad way. So remember, a contract can't remove your consumer rights in the fine print or even if it's not in the fine print. In fact, it's illegal to suggest that terms of service can override consumer guarantees, or to suggest that you've got to pay for something which should be free under the consumer law. So if anyone tries that with you, it's garbage. There's a bunch of other useful protections in the consumer law too. Like it's illegal to be false or misleading about the need for services, the quality of services or the price of services. And that will be $100. Back inside to extra. Now, I know that's a lot of info to take in, but it is really worth knowing. So let's recap. Services must be fit for purpose. Done with due care and skill, within the specified time or a reasonable time. Mm. And those guarantees can't be excluded. You got a problem with that? Businesses also can't be false or misleading about services or about consumer rights. Would you believe you have to pay for that? No. Damn it! I'll fix that. But what happens when you get services that you're not happy with? In that case, the question to ask is, was it a major failure? And it's not always an easy one to answer. Yes, there are so many shades of grey. Oh, come on!
Basically, it's a major failure if a reasonable consumer wouldn't have bought the services in the first place if they'd known what the problem was going to be. Or if the problem can't be fixed easily and within a reasonable time. Here's a few examples. This could be fixed pretty easily. But this is a... Laser fire! This wouldn't be too hard to remedy. But this would be a... Laser fire! This is easy to fix. But this would be a... If the problem with your service isn't a major issue, you have the right to demand that they fix it within a reasonable time. I demand that you fix this within a reasonable time! But there's no need to be rude. True. If they don't fix it within a reasonable time, you can pay somebody else to do it and the original supplier is liable for that cost. Or you can terminate the contract. If it's the other thing, then you don't have to get them to fix it. In either case, you're entitled to be compensated for any reasonably foreseeable loss. For example, the cost of a replacement car. And if you can terminate the contract, you're entitled to get all your money back. And by the way, it's not just tradies that come to your house who are covered either. Services includes things like internet access, but also professional advisors, <laughs> health service providers, and all manner of other services. But the consumer law service guarantees don't apply in all categories. For example, telecommunications, insurance, architects and even engineers in some cases aren't covered. Hello there. No. Different consumer protections apply to them, but the consumer law is generally the place to start. It really is worth knowing your rights and how to use them. Because if you do, there's a much better chance of ensuring that you don't get ripped off. off. Hey, isn't the ABC a service provider too, smartass? Nope. We're excluded. <laughs> <laughs>